Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope everyone are well. Everyone are managing and holding on. We're going through periods of times that uh, that can challenge us in many many ways and I wanted to share a certain thought that came to me it's something that I spoke about a few months ago as well but um, I think it's very important to discuss there are many many people that while teaching and guiding us on how to serve Hashem they're guiding us on something that has foundations in the Jewish wisdom in the holy Mishnayot in the oral Torah and it's written over there that on everything that a person is going through in his life he must say thank you. You should thank Hashem, you should thank the Creator on the good and on the bad and always to say it's all for the best, it's all for the good. And that's a very deep teaching and with no doubt has its foundations in, in the will of Heaven, in the will of the Creator that we all gonna serve him with a happy heart and gonna understand that there is a purpose to everything we're going through in our lives and with no doubt we're not contradicting that thing but you know every tool that you can use you can use it in a productive way in a useful way and also you can use it in a negative way that can hurt you. So for an example, if a person is now in trouble and he will ask you for advice, hey, what can I do? What do you suggest me to do? And you're gonna tell him, hey, everything you go through is for the good, is for the best, whatever. Sometimes that advice might work for him, but sometimes when a person is in deep pain, in grief, in sorrow, that advice might even break his spirit and shake his stability and like we can see ourselves as well many times when we're trying to find the purpose to the sorrow to the pain to what we go through many times we cannot find it many times we just we want to scream we want to cry we want to call help we want to call the creator to save us we want a change we don't want to accept it and to and also we know that it's written in the verses that the gates of tears are never locked and when you scream to Hashem to the Creator he should answer so you see that there is also a place where you go through pain and difficulties that you allow to scream that you should shout, that you should cry to heaven and not only to accept it that it's all for the good. So the way that I found that is useful for me to deal with those two amazing tools that have been given to us. One that is to thank Hashem and to thank the Creator on everything we go through in our lives and to try to recognize the hidden hand of his individual supervision perfect supervision on our lives amazing in second hand second side is to understand that sometimes when the pain is hard when the sorrow is is heavy you're allowed to cry you're allowed to call for help you're allowed to ask for a change so I realized for myself and that's the advice that I wanted to share with you guys that when you check yourself you should always check what is the amount of power that you have how much energy you have and if you feel that now you have that ability to thank heaven for what you go through so you should do it and it's perfect advice but sometimes 
you don't have the power for that and you have a lot on your chest a lot on your heart a lot on your shoulders and you feel like sharing you feel like crying so in that time a person should allow himself to feel that way and to speak to the Creator like you speak to your best friend and to share your thoughts and to ask for a change this is one aspect of it about yourself second aspect is about your friend about another person when you want to help another person you cannot always go and tell him what that you would do for yourself the advice that might work for you doesn't necessarily work for your friend maybe he's in a different situation and we need to be very sensitive to our friends not to hurt their feelings and not to break their spirits while trying to strengthen them with advice that is useful for us many times if you're gonna try to tell him no brother listen it's all for the good it's all for the best you can break him it won't do no good for him it won't help him in any way so after being sensitive to his condition and trying to find out where really he is holding then I would say that I wouldn't try to push him so badly into recognizing the good of the, that is hidden in the challenges that he's experiencing in his life. I would try more to show him compassion and understanding from my side, from my hand, my end. And I would try to do the best that I can to show him that I care about him and that I feel for him and that I want him to be happy. Instead of trying to educate him and to fix him and to tell him exactly what he should do and what he's supposed to understand from it. Sometimes a person just needs a friend. Sometimes we just need to feel that we're not alone in our journey. And I think that that's much you know, we need to come back to be human and to understand that people that are around us are also going through a lot and we need to have a heart for them. Also, when we see the condition of the world, we're not allowed in no way to accept on ourselves that that's the way the Creator wants our lives to be seen to be. That He wants us to suffer, that He wants us to have pain. All those negative thoughts are very, very wrong twisted and bent in, in their beginning, like that's not the will of heaven. So we must find that power inside of us to keep on praying and to keep on working as hard as we can to make big changes in the world, that the world will become a better place to live in, where people can feel comfortable with who they are where people can share their thoughts and their feelings and their emotions without being scared of how they will be criticized or judged or 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 disqualified by their by their feelings i like this approach of being human and caring to each other and loving each other as, as much as we can with many prayers to all our beloved friends and, and, and souls that we, that we know that lives right now in Florida, we're praying for your safety, for our safety. We are now in uh, Georgia, my family and I. We started our journey from New York toward Orlando last week and as we started our journey the huge storm started to build up in the ocean and started its own journey toward the, the coast of Florida so with prayers for the sake of our friends we're entering to a wonderful Shabbat and may the Creator bless us all to hear great news and may all the decrees and hard judgments will
disappear like the fog and smoke in the sky and will drown to the bottom of the ocean like never exist before and only great things will take place in our lives and only happiness will fill us and surround us and may we believe in ourselves and recognize the beauty and glory of our spirits and souls and may heaven be open to reveal the loving kindness of the Creator and no more not more than that may the Creator bless us all as one to be always happy and successful Amen Shabbat Shalom